what's going on guys welcome back to another video i'm going to be covering the most underrated map mods that i think that are in project zomboy um i will not be including um over the river or raven creek uh seeing how most people should already know about those but anyways let's get right into the video first up that we have on the list is rabbit hash ky now this w being one of the smaller maps um out of all of them honestly um is actually really good to spawn in it already comes with a auto shop a gas station just across the street and a store this place being a very very good starting point um you can either bunker down here um if you wanted to or you could actually leave it comes with plenty of cars plenty of houses um i believe that it is a lot more to explore here um, i haven't been everywhere um i will leave that to you guys to go ahead and explore but i think this should be really really on this list i don't really see a lot of people playing it especially on the streams so yeah okay next that we have up on the list is liberty city now taken straight out of gta well, i highly recommend adding this map to add some expansion near the coast and or by over the river if you uh, ever wanted to it's right next to it it's not really hard to miss it also having shops and houses coming directly out the game I would say this is one of the more better maps uh, with plenty of housing. The original ammunition store from the actual game. Also with the original docks from the actual game and a lot more. That we have up is Elysium Island. Uh, first, when you spawn in, it gives a very cozy feeling, I would say. It's a very compact, small place, but it comes fully equipped uh, with everything that you need. Most of the houses I, I, that I'm showing right now um, comes with a washer, dryer, and a lot of food in it. And if there is no food, there's a fully equipped, full-size supermarket directly in the front. If you explore more further to the dock area in the back, uh, you can also notice that there's a mini gas station. Well, I wouldn't say gas station, but gas pumps back there and also more houses so uh more houses and more loot very recommend this place um is another like a uh, water sensor i would say uh, type of place so um if you use your boats a very good place to have a boat so we have up is monmouth county now usually starting either in apartment buildings or the forest i uh, starting in apartment buildings uh finally now, although in my opinion this place has a very high zombie count it does have a thing for being very convenient Full size and central buildings like the police station, the hospital, and a lot of government cars that's around the area. Um, some of them are kind of hard to find, so be aware of that. And one of the things that I like most about it is that the gated off buildings uh, make it harder for the zombies to come to your building. And it makes them a lot slower uh, whenever they trip over. So, And also, if you have your house barricaded, it's very, very much helpful. Next up, we got on the list is Cedar Hill. Now, this one being a very, very big suburban. Well, I wouldn't really call it big. They have big houses. Honestly, kind of reminds me of that one town uh, from The Walking Dead where Rick and them was kind of living there. Other than uh, Negan's Watch, if you, if you guys watch that show. But aside from that, unlike all the other places, this does not have a um, police station. It does have a giant school in the middle um, and a small medical place uh, just above the road if you uh, want to go there. Uh, I recommend this place if you want a corner base. Uh, the houses are pretty good. Uh, you can hold as much stuff in them as possible. Uh, about medium zombie count also. Uh, that's if you have the zombie count on normal and not uh, adjusted. I don't know why you wouldn't adjust it anyway. But, but anyways, guys, that's right up today's video um thank you all for watching i hope you enjoyed this and the last two videos that i've posted and peace